What's up guys, so just the other day Apple released iOS 4.3 for developers. Uh, this is a beta, you have to be a developer to get this, but I actually have a chance to play around with it. So there's a lot of new features in iOS 4.3 that I thought I'd show you guys, uh, kind of give you something to look forward to. Now note that the, some of these features may not actually be in the final release of uh, 4.3, but it's, it's pretty cool to take a look at these. So first off, we're going to start off with the iPad. Now one of the great features I was really happy they brought back I uh, kind of gave you options to play around with is the lock button over here on the side of the iPad where as before it was only a uh, portrait orientation where like if you want to turn your iPad uh, you could lock it to a certain orientation. I really like that actually. Uh, and then they actually switched it over uh, in iOS 4.2.1 where you can only use it as a mute switch and uh, a lot of people are actually furious about that. Uh, I actually don't mind it too much because you got the multitasking uh, right over here and you can lock it right there. But now in iOS 4.3, uh, in settings, you can actually choose what that button's going to do for you. You can make it uh, lock, lock your rotation or you can mute. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I actually like both, but uh, I'm glad they brought that back and actually give you the option to choose between the two of those. Now, the next new feature they added is a lot of gesture features, and these I think make the iPad like really really fun to play with and it just kinda adds a new experience to it. So these are four and five finger gestures. The first one uh, you can scroll up with four fingers. Let me do that again for you. Let's flick it up and you can actually see the multitasking apps that are running in the background right now. Flick it back down. Now let's open up an app. You can actually use four fingers, slide back and forth and you can switch between apps. I'll do that a little bit slower for you. And there you go and it actually does it in the order that the apps are right here. So you can switch back and forth between apps pretty quickly. Another new feature, take five fingers, pinch, and it will actually bring you to the home screen. I'll do that one more time for you. Okay, here we go. And I, I just think it looks really cool. And actually, I've been hearing rumors that the iPad 2 may not have a home button. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I don't think that Apple would actually do that, but with this new feature, brings you right back to the home screen. It's pretty easy to do it. That could be a possibility, but I, I, I just don't see that happening with the iPad 2. They also added a new font on the iPhone and iPad called Noteworthy, which actually looks a little bit different. We'll show you what that looks like. Everybody's excited about this, huh? Some new fonts. So there we go. You can see it looks a little bit different. It's, it's nothing that amazing, but a new font. With the iPad now, you can actually do full screen iAds, which I know if you guys aren't developers, you're not going to be excited about that at all. Uh, you're actually probably going to be a little bit annoyed with that. They've also actually updated AirPlay so that developers can actually integrate AirPlay with their apps. Now we don't know if this is going to work with uh, streaming it to a Mac or anything like that. We do know that it, of course you can stream it to an Apple TV but now uh, developers have the option to uh, stream AirPlay in their application. So that's, that's a really good feature and I'm excited to see what comes of that. Now let's take a look at some of the new features in the iPhone 4. Now I don't know if you guys are really going to be interested or happy about this one but they actually changed the screenshot sound. Let's take a listen to it. Wait, take a listen. Does that, does that make sense? Uh, so listen. So there you go. They, they changed the sound a little bit. How exciting. Uh, they also added a way where you can actually set your messages uh, to notify you 10 times. So like if, you're, if you want a message, uh, you can set it in here. Play alert tone 10 times, which could really get annoying, but uh, you may need an important message for some time and you may not really want to miss it. So that may be a, a cool little thing that you want to add on. Another new feature that I noticed is the update uh, to the updates tab in the App Store. They actually added a new little uh, interface for it, which looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, it should load up here in a second. Okay, there we go. So you see it just looks a little bit different. Actually, I don't know if I really like this. It doesn't seem like Apple-like to me. I don't know. Uh, but it looks alright. Tell me what you guys think about that. Uh, I don't know why they're doing these little bitty updates like this. Uh, but it looks pretty cool and uh, kind of makes everything a little bit bigger. So this is basically a rundown of the new features in iOS 4.3 Beta 1. If any new features come out, uh, I will have to actually I'll have to update to the new uh, betas, so I actually get to preview those firmwares, and I may be posting videos on that for you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments if you like this kind of thing. Now another cool thing that they added, which actually doesn't work yet for some carriers, I think it actually does work for like one or two carriers maybe. In the settings app, if you go into settings, general, network, you can actually see a personal hotspot feature. You guys know the Verizon announcement where they're actually going to be giving you a MiFi hotspot that will work up with five devices and they're actually going to be able to let you do this now in iOS 4.3, uh, at least in the beta. Whether your carrier will support it or not, 
Uh, that's up to them. Now there's a lot of new things that I've been hearing about iOS 4.3 which like refer to new devices like uh, an iPhone 5 and an iPad 2. There's actually supposedly a FaceTime icon that they found in the iPad's firmware. Uh, so that could mean in the iPad 2 that we're going to get FaceTime which pretty much is obvious. But overall I'm happy with these new features and I hope they actually make it in the final release. Let me know what you guys think about these or any other features you think they should add in iOS 4.3 and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right up there, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.